Hey there. Let's talk about donating our work. Have you ever been asked to donate your work for a cause? Does the idea of giving away your precious time and materials make you cringe? Do you find yourself giving away all your artwork and have nothing to show for it? Or do you have zero set up for your marketing budget? Let's change that. Hi, I'm Kelly Hodges. I'm one of the partners at Billet Collins Decorative Painting Studio, and I focus on the business and marketing to make it a super successful studio and a fun place to work. I'm gonna show you how you can make yours a successful decorative painting studio too. Okay, let's talk about three tips to make artistic donations work for you. We're gonna talk about the different places that you can make a donation, how much you should donate, and how to make your don donation benefit you and your studio. So as you build your business, take a look around. You probably have a designer show house, a garden tour, or a trade fundraiser that attracts a lot of people in your industry. These are potential customers. When I first started, I went to our local interior designer show house. I did a bit of research while I walked through, this is before the days of websites, to see which designer had which style and discover which items they might be interested in that I had in my portfolio. I think it was $40 to walk through. There were about 20 rooms, which makes 20 designers. That's a nice investment. On some days, the designer will have a docent or volunteer in the room. Um, make sure that you go on a day when the designer is actually there so you can get some face-to-face -face time. After I walked through and passed out my cards, I called the interior designers, set up appointments to show them my portfolio, and a couple of those meetings turned into career-long relationships that jump-started my, biz my business. Fundraisers are a wonderful way to build your business and improve your network. I love them for a multitude of reasons, but mostly because fundraisers benefit a great cause. In our industry, the focus is usually on homelessness, families in need, or special interest groups. Over the years, we've supported hospitals like Children's National Medical Center, MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Room to Re Bloom is a group that we're working with now. They support women and families coming out of abusive relationships. And DIFA, Design Industries Foundation Fighting AIDS, has great events in New York. Um, the Fight for Diabetes Cure is another one that we're working with this year. And of course, our kids' schools and fundraisers that they're working on. I feel good working on these events for myself, but I also love building a company culture that supports causes that I care about. As you build your business, you will probably be asked to donate your work to a fundraiser or auction. This is a great opportunity to support a cause your designers are working on and something you might believe in also. Remember that helping them, helping your interior designers, is helping you. Consider this a collaboration. Here are three thoughts when you are asked to donate your work to a fundraiser. First, think of this as a collaboration in marketing. It is not a gift to anyone. You are investing in your marketing plan. You can offer the donation free of charge or at a discount. If the request is larger than you can afford, you might want to reach out to one of your contacts and see if they will help sponsor the project. For example, you might ask a paint company to donate the paint and materials. We painted a mural at a hospital and invited Sherwin-Williams to donate the paint. Not only were they happy to participate and donate, but they also used our project in their marketing program. Another idea, if you need scaffolding, let's say you're doing a foyer, think about asking a rental company to donate either the scaffolding itself or even for them to set up the scaffolding for you, which will cut down on your time. Or 3M tapes, we use a lot of tape for floor patterns. You might want to contact your rep and see if they will donate the tapes or any of the product or materials that you're going to be using on the project. Secondly, this is a great opportunity to ask for something in return. Maybe you set up your business so that you will only donate to designers who bring a certain level of business to you. For example, you might set up your business so that you can only offer do donations to designers who do $10,000 worth of work with you every year. So the clients who only do $1,000 worth of work, you would either not be able to sponsor their project or maybe you could donate less. So maybe um, you would only donate $50 to their swag bag or to the luncheon or some sort of advertising in the program. Maybe you agree to a donation with the caveat that your company is mentioned in all marketing and media coverage. I think this probably should always happen whenever you're doing 
um, donation mark. So your company name, your logo, your bio would be included in the program or on the price list or in the show house website or wh wherever they're advertising. Another idea is to ask the designer to cover the cost of the photography or ad space in the program. So maybe she's already having the room photographed, just ask her to do some focus shots on your work. Um, maybe she can do a little um, contribution to the program and put your ad in there. Three, lastly, get your marketing package ready. You'll need a good logo with the right resolution. So if you're going to be printing, think about 300 DPI or higher. If it's going to be online or digital, you can stick with 96 DPI, a smaller version. Um, maybe a headshot. Add a bio. Talk about how you accomplished this project, things you learned, materials you used. Any messaging that you'd like a potential client to know about you, this is a great time to get all of that together. Send this out to all of your contacts, all of your media contacts. So if you know anyone in the media world or online blog, this is a great way person to send it to. Send it all also to the interior designer and the fundraising committee. So when the interior designer is standing in the room or the docents are volunteering in the space, let them know how you accomplish these things. They want to be able to answer the questions as people come through. So this is a great way for advertising for them on your behalf. Um, also send it to all of your clients. Get your um, email list working and send it out in a monthly email or just a ge general email. Everyone needs to know that you're making a donation to the show house and that working with you means supporting a great cause. Be sure to promote this. So there's a few places that you can promote this. Easy Peasy is online with social media. Think about Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Those are the top three that we use. Also, put it in a tagline in your emails, so there's the body of text, your signature, maybe your logo and contact, and then at the bottom, just write a little simple sentence. Make sure to join us in September for the show house. We donated work um, to a painted floor in the dining room with interior designer Marika Meyer, something like that. Maybe a link back to the um, show house website. And also make sure you mention it as you are talking to your clients and customers talking about it in social situations with friends. When you go to a client's house and show them your portfolio, make sure this is a great time to mention it. Um, if you're in town in September, make sure to stop by and see the kitchen that we painted with Danziger Design. Um, we donated our artistry. So I think that's about it. Those are my three tips to make artistic donations work for you. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And click subscribe and stick around for the, our next video with helpful tips for a business, a success. Okay, those are my three tips for making your donation work for you and your decorative painting studio. One, collaborate. Go ahead and jump in with both feet. This is a great way to market. Two, ask for something in return. This doesn't have to be a one-way street. And three, promote, promote, promote. You can do it. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And click subscribe and stick around for our next video. We'll have more tips for the business of decorative painting studios. Bye-bye.